Hi, this is Dave Gilbert with Praetorian Technologies and I'd like to talk a little bit about a recent announcement from Apple that iOS 13, which is due to be released in September, is now going to include mouse support under assistive touch. It's really very, very easy to access. All you need is the appropriate adapter. Um, this particular iPad is, an, is a fifth generation and therefore it's got a lightning connector. And what I have here is, a, is a, what's, what's commonly referred to as a camera adapter cable. So it's lightning through to USB type A socket. And uh, just be careful when you're buying uh, the, the adapter to make sure if you have a, uh, one of the larger iPad Pros that uh, they're already starting to be fitted with USB-C, in which case you need a slightly different adapter. They're available both from Apple and from, uh, from third parties. And uh, also something that is quite useful is some of them have uh, what's called a, a feed through so that you can, uh, you can plug a charger into them and still charge the device or power it from, a, from a, a, an external battery uh, while you're actually using the mouse. Sometimes that'd be quite useful. So to begin with, what I need to do is go into assistive touch and turn on uh, the assistive touch feature. So I'll go into settings and the first thing to notice is that accessibility now has a menu of its own. It's no longer under general. So once I'm in there, uh, then tap on touch and then on assistive touch and then turn on assistive touch and um, if I go back to the home screen now you see, immediately see that the assistive touch menu has, has, uh, has started to appear on the screen. Now if I just go ahead and plug in this device, uh, this particular one is the Praetorian Optima joystick, then it beeps and then immediately I see a cursor on the screen there. And the first thing to notice is it's not a conventional cursor as it, and it's not a pointer. And that's quite deliberate on Apple's part. They, uh, they, they want to keep this feature uh, for, for those people that need it, i.e. people that, uh, that, uh, that have um, the need of an external mouse, those with disabilities. And uh, so that's why it it's, doesn't appear as a standard uh, a conventional pointer. Uh, but you can immediately see that if I start to move this, uh, the, uh, the, the joystick around, then the cursor moves on screen in, in the normal way. In terms of buttons, um, they're actually programmable, and I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Uh, but um, in this particular case, I've got the, the red button on the Optimus set to uh, tap screen, and the, uh, the yellow one on the right-hand side to home. So therefore, if I go into a, a, an app, let's say into Notes, for example, and click, then I open up the app, and um, I can do all I need to do. Um, including, for example, if I just click on there, then the, the uh, keyboard also appears and if I want to type an N, then I can do that very easily. When I finish doing what I'm doing, then if I press the yellow button, then I go back home again. So, in this series of videos, what I'm going to do is take uh, you through each of uh, Praetorian's input devices one by one. They all work flawlessly, they all work just the way you'd expect them to, as if they were uh, plugged into a PC or a Mac, which you're perhaps more, more familiar with. And uh, we'll introduce the various features and benefits of each one as we go, and uh, also introduce some of the other assistive uh, uh, touch features as we go along. So, keep on watching, the next video is up shortly. Thanks.